Today we are going to talk about uh, an onlay case. In this case, we are going to mill with Sirona in lab M6L, that's a four axis machine, which is inlay and onlay. And we want to uh, use IPS Max CAD. So we choose uh, lithium disilicate and we choose three axis machine. We should choose the little missile cut again because we changed the machine. And uh, after that, we check the presets 0 0.8 for minimal thickness, 0 0.05 for uh, gap. Okay, we're going to design part. In this part, we need to uh, use the scans that come from a scanner or uh, insert the uh, STL data uh, we have downloaded from users. Okay, we can detect the margins with four points. Okay, and the artificial intelligence do the jobs very good. Or we could do it point by point with magnet. Uh, the magnet helps us to uh, find the edges and auto height adjacent help us to. Uh, hide the uh, adjacent parts so we could have better view. In this case, and in most of my cases, I use the tag for start and then correct and zero for meticulous adjustment. This is more uh, proper margin line detection uh, progress. And we should uh, have a good insertion direction because we shouldn't interfere with the twist, neighboring twist, and we shouldn't uh, have so much undercut with that kind of uh, insertion direction. Okay, we should uh, use the library. Uh, in most of the cases, me and uh, my colleagues use generic or generic smooth. These two libraries are so useful and they're so uh, good when you're doing the jobs. Uh, they scale good, they have good anatomy, but uh, to be honest, it's not uh, so professional looking and it doesn't uh, fit every case. So in some cases, we need to change the libraries and find the teeth that match that dentitions, uh, like the worn dentition or the used dentition, maybe they need a uh, different kind of libraries. Okay, and we could uh, scale the teeth so it fits uh, better. And we could, uh, as you can see, have shift for scaling and control for rotating. Okay, and we let the software do the uh, first renders. Okay, and we could uh, restrict the movements to occlusal or we could restrict the cusps. Okay, in this case, look what we have here. We have disaster. And because we scaled this in mesodistal direction too much, we have the uh, marginal ridge that uh, going farther than the the place that they should be, and uh, the software uh, could give you some uh, results. But in case that you scale too much or you're doing too much free form, uh, the anatomy of the resulting piece is not satisfactory and. Uh, Sometimes the marginals are not in proper place and they lead to foot retention or some kind of problems that uh, will fail the restoration earlier and then it should be. Okay, and uh, as you can see, uh, are, uh, the software needs some kind of free-forming. It doesn't give you complete satisfactory results. But with some uh, small tweaks, you will get good restorations. Okay, and uh, as you can see, we are taking care of uh, Curve of SP and Curve of Wilson. And as you, 
you can see we have a good emergence profile and there is a point on the mesial cusp that uh, have less than enough space okay and in this top part there is a problem we have a point that uh, because it doesn't have uh, less than enough uh, thickness the software doesn't allow us to soften it so in uh, this case is not uh, a good result and I'm not satisfied with it so I'm going to expert mode to uh, show you how we should correct this problem okay as you can see that part is not completely cleanable and it result to early decay okay I choose the T's I choose the cur marginalized correction and as you can see I bring the marginalized a little bit inside not too much a little bit and uh, this helps software to have space uh, to reform it better and look this is far far better and now we can have proper uh, emergence profile in this cell also yeah this is perfect and now you can be sure that this restoration will last long for the patient thank you everyone i hope you enjoyed this lesson and i hope you make good always bye for now